Molly Ho, everyone, and welcome to Let's Play Mega Man Legacy Collection at the moment. I was starting with Mega Man 1, but what this is is basically a collection of games uh, from the classic Mega Man series. Uh, this is the first Legacy Collection. I have both of them. And I'm recording this from my PS4 because I'm trying something different. Um, I actually don't know how well this is going to work, but we're going to try. So welcome to Mega Man 1. It's considering... I'm not going to be using Rewind if I can remember not to hit L1. Um, so you have six bosses that so you can select which one you fight. For anyone who doesn't know Mega Man, um, I'm going to actually be starting with Gutsman, and there's a reason for that. Now, I'm not, I'm not good enough to do this without getting hit or anything like that, but we're going to see what we can do here. So, welcome to Mega Man. It's also been given the loving nickname of uh, Jump and Shoot Man, because it's basically all you do in the game is jump and shoot. Um, oh yeah, little thing here, that annoying sound, if you pause and unpause, it clears it. Um, most of my knowledge of Mega Man outside of basic knowledge comes from another YouTuber. His name is Roam Mithril, and he's freaking a phenomenal at this game. And all the other Mega Man games I've watched him play. Uh, you should go check him out if you haven't already. Um, I'm still going to shut that thing up. Oh, God. See, he does perfect runs. He does entire things without getting hit. And, uh... I'm not that good by any stretch of the imagination. So, the game is fairly lenient on realizing when an era hard the barrier is coming up. Capcom may have been brutal with their difficulty, but at least they do know BS whenever they've done it. Um, Damon also famously has a death, aller death allergy to spikes, so don't touch anything sharp or pointy. There's Blader there. Uh, don't want to be here. You also have to. You have to know where you're going here. Don't just ever fall straight down if you can help it. I got lucky there. That thing can randomly jump higher than normal and not get caught on the ledge. So. And that those doors usually represent boss chambers. So. I try these are nuts. Um, in Mega Man 1, they put enemies in the boss chamber for, I guess, refilling your health and such, so you can just kind of walk back and forth and reload the enemies and farm them. You so desire. But, we're not going to do that any more than I already have. And welcome to our first boss fight. I should let that hit me. Actually, yeah, hang on. This is this is how you do it. You jump straight up. He's going to launch one of the the rocks. If he doesn't jump straight up, then you want to actually jump to avoid getting stunned. Oh crap! Oh, God, this guy is pain in the ass. He's literally okay. Get out of my face, gunsman. Ah, he got. He gets mean quick. Um. Okay, let's try this again. For some reason, it feels like that shockwave lasts longer. The one that wouldn't jump straight up. Maybe my timing's just bad. No, get away from me. Stop getting so close, Gutsman. Anyway, 
since he wanted to get up in my face. When you defeat a boss, you collect their energy element and get their power. So that's the main draw of Mega Man, is you defeat a boss, you get its power, and you use its power against a different boss. Now I started with Gutsman, and I probably can do two levels in one go, so we'll do Gutsman as well. These two are the most iconic of the Mega Man series bosses, because if you ever watch the cartoon, anime, whatever you want to call it, it, uh, it introduced them quite well. Now, so if you enter your normal pause menu, you have a selection, P is your name, normal, Buster, I don't know what that's actually called back now, they call it the Mega Buster nowadays, but I don't know what it was called back then, because it's P. Anyway, these things are bladers again, and they- oh, I accidentally got rewind. That's okay. <laughs> I- the problem I have there is that in later games, you can tap L1 and, and R1, or L and R for the SNES games, uh, or game, um, to reset back to the buster, and that's not something you can do since this is an NES-style game. See, normally the L and R shoulder buttons on well, whatever console it's on allow you to change powers, and you don't have that in Classic. You have to manually change in the menu. I play a lot of the newer Mega Mans. Actually, my favorite is probably 4, although it doesn't have the shoulder button thing, 4 and, oddly enough, I'm, I know I'm going to be... Uh, not have the shared opinion, but I actually love eight. Strange voice acting and all, because eight was on the PlayStation. Um, don't get me wrong though, I love the classic Mega Man's. I think we had we had owned four, and I played two. I think we had rented it. Uh, and then during the GameCube era, they released this anniversary edition that had all the classic Mega Man's up to 8 plus the two arcade games in it. And I played and beat all of them, including the arcade games, which was, those are, those are a thing. I'm not, I'm not going down there to get that. That was just a points item, and I really have no need for them. In fact, I'm just gonna leave. Bye. I could have killed those guys for power-ups, but, you know. Thank you for having goodbye. Whoa. You gotta remember that Mega Man is two tiles tall, and he shoots at about halfway up the... Well, or half, about between the two tiles. I stood too still too long. I've never died to that thing. I am... Oh yeah, that's uh, that's something that this game does, by the way, is bad spawn points <laughs> on checkpoints. Something the games get better at is actually putting checkpoints that don't get you hit by standing still. The blue square there is weapon energy refill, the uh, yellow orbs are HP, and that is a points item. It, you can pick it up for score, and then I think it gives you bonus score at the end for however many you picked up in the round. These rocks are all rocks that I can pick up with guts. I don't want to pick that up while it's there. There we go. Kill both of them. I do want to save that. Like, that's the only thing guts the power arm, I think is what it's called. Um, that's the only thing it can do is pick up rocks and throw them. Could grab this actually. And now for an NES glitch that somehow makes it onto every port of the game. In case it's not clear what I did there, because with NES games, if you go off the top of the screen, you also exist at the bottom of the screen at the same time. Wow, even two power arms can kill it. Um, anyway. Because you exist at both the top and bottom at the same time, you can grab the ladder at the bottom from the top, and if you climb up it, then it allows you to immediately climb back down, and 
I don't know why I did that, because I don't need any more weapon energy. Basically, skip that entire screen. Meet Gutsman. Um, I didn't mention Gutsman's power of being the power arm, but Gutsman's is the rolling cutter. I'm trying to get him to get away from those blocks, but it doesn't allow him to do that. Oh, that's not good. I missed. Oh, now we gotta do it normally. And I should have just jumped up over it back around. I don't think those blocks respawn. Oh! Well, that's interesting. I forgot that was a thing that happened. Yeah, there's a live system because this game was meant to, uh... Actually, I think all the main man's... Mega Man games have lies, even the newer ones. Actually, the, the most recent Mega Man game was Mega Man 11, which, by the way, is fantastic. And... I, uh, might end up playing that eventually. This is more or less a breather from the fact that all of the games I have lined up aside from this is like, RPG, RPG, RPG. Sometimes you just need a little action game to unwind with. Nothing like jumping and shooting and destroying robots. Downside is out. Already having done this, I've kind of run out of things to say already. But. I really gotta remember placement of enemies. Jump again. I was going to wait, got impatient. What? Nope, still not going down there for it. Kill these things. Aww. Try to get both of them. Oh well. It has been a while since I actually played this to completion. Yeah, I that, think that's. What is that? The hyper cutter thing? I, I don't remember exactly what the stuff's name is called. Okay. This game does have a few minor graphical glitches. I'm gonna dodge the first shot and then go back down. No. Wow. Oh, I'm in trouble. Goodbye. Oh, that worked. Oh god, I missed with both of them. Alright. And I think that'll call it. So... I hope this has been enjoyable. And until next time, keep blasting on, folks. Thank you.